This is a short presentation for the paper Algorithmic Regularization in Learning Deep Homogeneous Models. Layers are automatically balanced. I'm Wei Hu, and this is joint work with Simon Du and Jason Li. In this work, we look at the issue of homogeneity in deep learning. Let's consider a standard deep neural network with ReLU activation. It just repeatedly applies linear transformations and the ReLU activation function. And this is the function this network computes. This model has a property called positive homogeneity. This means that if you multiply one of the matrices by a positive scalar and divide another matrix by the same scalar, you get exactly the same function. And this is easy to see from the definition of ReLU. So what's the issue with homogeneity? Let's now look at a simpler example that is asymmetric matrix factorization. In this problem, we just want to factorize a low rank matrix M star into the product UV transpose, where U and V both have R columns, and R is the rank of M star. We do this by minimizing the squared Frobenius norm of this arrow, UV transpose minus M star, and the U and V are the variables in this abjective function. And specifically, we want to study gradient-based methods to minimize this function. So this problem is a very simple deep learning problem with two layers and linear activation, and it also has the property uh, of homogeneity that I described at the beginning. A simple observation is that a global minimum of this function can be unbounded, because we can just rescale any global minimum so that u is super small and v is super large and is still a global minimum. Another observation is that this function is not beta smooth for any finite beta, even at a global minimum. Basically, this also happens at such highly unbalanced points. A direct consequence is that existing first-order black box approaches for non-convex optimization do not work on this problem, because algorithms like gradient descent or stochastic gradient descent are not even guaranteed to converge when you have possible unboundedness or non-smoothness in the function. Similar issue was also raised recently by Oha Shamir. So for the matrix factorization problem, previous theoretical results did the following. They either worked with the symmetric factorization UU transpose, or they added some artificial regularization to balance the two factors. Either way, the function will not be homogeneous anymore, and they can show some nice properties. But here we want to ask, is regularization really necessary? The answer seems to be no. So we just run gradient descent on matrix factorization with and without regularization. And we can see that even without regularization, gradient descent can still converge to a global minimum pretty fast. And furthermore, we observe that the Frobenius norms of U and V stay pretty close to each other during the optimization. So actually, the highly unbalanced situation does not happen if we run gradient descent. So now a very interesting question arises. Why does gradient descent automatically balance different layers and converge to a global minimum? So in this work, we give a theoretical explanation of this phenomenon. We show that gradient descent can have an auto-balancing effect in learning deep homogeneous models. Now let's go back to the deep neural network with ReLU activation. And I just define theta to be the collection of all the parameters in the network. And we uh, consider the standard setting of minimizing the empirical loss given data using some arbitrary loss function. Okay, And the algorithm we consider is gradient descent with infinitesimal learning rate, aka gradient flow for, uh, or continuous gradient descent. This is modeled by a differential equation where the variable theta is changing continuously over time, and its derivative with respect to time is equal to the negative gradient of the loss. So this is a, a standard and idealized model for gradient descent with very small learning rates. OK, and here comes our main theorem. We show that if we run gradient flow, the difference between the squared Frobenius norms of two layers will remain unchanged over time. So mathematically, this just says that its derivative with respect to time is exactly 0. OK, uh, and a direct corollary is that if all the layers are initialized to be small, they will always remain close to each other. So the highly unbalanced case will not happen if we run gradient descent uh, with infinitesimal learning rates. OK, and there are some uh, extensions of this result. So for linear activation, we can show a stronger invariance property. And also, we can show a similar result for convolutional neural networks. 
And as a concrete application, we can now solve the matrix factorization problem using gradient descent. Our theorem here says that gradient descent with small random initialization and small learning rate can converge to an approximate global minimum with high probability. And the crucial step in the proof is to show balancedness. And uh, this concludes the talk. Thank you for watching, and the paper is on archive.